everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Pineapple. Thank you for your continued patronage. Uh, side note, we've hit over 3,000 views so far, and yeah, that's great. Next step, we're on the road to 5,000 views. You know, maybe we can get 100 subscribers. That'd be awesome. Get a little, you know, get a little street cred out there. You know, I've got some uh, some wrestling videos, some announcements that have been doing well. You know, we're varying it up. We're gonna vary it up again today. We're gonna we're gonna make a drink. We're gonna make like a first time drink. I was thinking about this this morning. I'm like, ooh, we're we're gonna do that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a drink. We're gonna talk about music. We're gonna talk about wrestling. We're gonna talk about Florida. You know, same same, but you know, with a little twist. Also, no microphone today. That's on the fritz, so we're going with the webcam mic. So I know the audio is a little bit different. Yeah, it'll go with the, uh, you know, we'll go with the new format. We're gonna be like water, you know, we're just gonna flow. All right, so the drink haven't named it yet, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go with the Howler Head, you know, that we talked about before. We're gonna go with the Old Smoky, uh, which I have a video on, but apparently the audio quality is off. So, long story short, it's okay. It's not my. It's not something I'm going to drink alone. Um, but as a mixer, uh, sure, let's try it. And then uh, got a little Kahlua. So yeah, I haven't uh, haven't named the drink, but uh, you know, it's peanut butter, it's uh, bananas, it's a uh, coffee, rum, chocolatey flavor. Why not? So let's, let's get into it. Let's talk about Florida, by the way, while I mix this drink. Um, it's been weird. You know, even like even Florida weird. Like we keep getting, you know, it keeps warming up and cooling down, and warming up and cooling down, and, you know, it's tourist season. So I got to hear about it from there, and, you know, that's what you say. Well, this is not snowing, which generally it is uh, where they're from. So let's go about three-quarter ounce Kahlua. Could have been no jigger there. Let's see, and then we got the old smoky. Let's do a full ounce of that one, and then we'll do a full ounce of the uh, the Howler head. I know they're full ounces because there's little little markers in there. in our little shaker here. It came prepared, except your boy Pineapple forgot his glass. Hold on, I'll be right back. Do, 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 do. You still get audio, though. You still get audio, though. Oh, no. We have misplaced the whiskey glass. We'll go with just a regular glass. Right. Sorry about the being ill prepared and having to go off camera, but once again, we're doing these things live, one take, you know, because in real life, you only get really one take. Uh, so let's take it up. Not too. There we go. Ooh, there's a little profit. There we go. I don't have an umbrella. Um, yeah, it's a it's a darker color uh, as you would expect. I'm actually like, let's let that sit for a, let's let it sit, you know, for a second. Let's talk about some music. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know how it came up in conversation, but, uh, usually we talk about rock music and older songs and things like that, but let's talk about the Yin Yang Twins for just, just a quick second. Can we just appreciate the music that they've made over the years? Um, yeah, I mean... And specifically the beats, you know, I mean, don't pay too much attention to the lyrics because they're dirty. We all know they're dirty. Uh, you know, from Whistle While You Twerk to Get Low to that thing he did with the, the Bubba Sparks. And yeah, I mean, just the Whisper Song. Just good song, good beats, good danceable songs. Good, you know, things to hear. Um, but yeah, when you get in the lyrics, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, which got me thinking... Uh, about lyrics and cancel culture today and you know what artists are allowed to get away with in mainstream versus not and who did you know who, who decides what's offensive and what's not I was listening to the radio the other day and wingers uh, 17 came on and I was like man 
talk about uh, a song that maybe should be canceled by cancel culture. I mean, the song is literally uh, a glorification of statutory rape. Um, I mean, that's all it is. Uh, and, you know, it's out on the radio, but know your audience. It's on a classic rock station in Florida. Uh, I don't think the, the listeners in the, of the classic rock in Florida are as part of the cancel culture. I think that, I mean, they're wherever. We don't care. It rocks. Just an interesting observation. Uh, but yeah, the Yin Yang Twins. Good beats. Good songs. They've uh, provided lots of enjoyment over the years. And uh, yeah, I, I think I think a greatest hits album mixtape yeah, is is needed. Comment below if you'd like uh, with your favorite Yin Yang Twins song. So let's try the drink. Well, that's all kind of delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, I actually could use a little bit more banana, and I could probably dial back the peanut butter uh, on that a little bit. I can still taste the peanut butter and the banana and, and, and the Kahlua. And, yeah, maybe, maybe put a little cream in there, a little banana uh, garnish. Umbrella, you know, maybe an orange, who knows? Something light and tropical. It's a fun summer drink for y'all. Uh, comment below if, if you got a name for it. Huh? How about the uh, the Smoky Howler or Lua? Luau? I don't know. This coming up this summer. <laughs> Having some fun. Oh, by the way, happy Easter. Uh, it's Easter. It's 1045 in the morning. Let's have a, let's have a banana whiskey. Drink. Ah, anyway, what I, so we've talked about Florida, we've talked about music, and that leaves us with, you guessed it, wrestling. Uh, wrestling this week, AEW Dynamite put on the perfect show? The perfect show. They've put on the perfect show this week. Every episode, every match, excuse me, uh, from moment one to the ending credits or the send off to the next show I, I was glued I was I was floored every match was good their storytelling was good there were surprises there were comebacks um, you know, Trent uh, is back with their best friends and an even bigger comeback Chris Statlander is back the alien uh, she's back and she's renewed her friendship with the best friend so now it's no longer just Chuck and Orange it's Chuck Orange Trent and Chris Statlander. Uh, speaking on that, AEW is becoming very uh, crowded with their factions. So there's that faction that's back. We got the Dark Order, we got the Pinnacle, uh, we got the Inner Circle, we got Death Triangle, um, and now, oh, the, yeah, and now Cody Rhodes' uh, Nightmare Family has splintered. Yeah, the, the trainees have rose up and have and become heels and have attacked Arn Anderson and yeah, Tony, uh, not not Tony, excuse me, Cody Rhodes and Lee Johnson and you know the the trainees have come up. Nick Colorado is a big guy and I forget the other guys' names, uh, but they're forming their own little. So I mean, right there and then Jurassic Express. I'm sure I'm I'm missing things. You know, but I mean, just off the top of my head, that's that's what five, six, seven. I mean, uh, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. It's good to have alliances. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you've got the elite. You know, but is that breaking? I think that's officially broken up. You know, when when you had Kenny and uh, the Good Brothers and the Young Bucks and I figured probably somebody else is in there as well uh, that I'm I'm missing. But that was another faction that's kind of dissipated. Uh, touching on that though, Insane Kenny Omega with the Good Brothers continues to pay off. Uh, really, really enjoying that. Um, I don't know. I like a good heel. What can I say? And uh, you know, a crazy megalomaniac, you know, is is entertaining. I think. Uh, I think we may have experienced that in, in real life recently, and maybe that's why I find the, the parody in, in in an area where there are no consequences and you can be insane. And, you know, it's not like it's going to be the end of the world because it's just wrestling. Maybe that's why I find that so entertaining. Anyway, thank you all for joining us today on this wonderful Easter Sunday. I hope uh, that even if you don't celebrate Easter, that you're having a good Sunday. You know, I, I hope 
you guys uh, all the best this week. Continue to be good. Love each other. You know, treat each other as you as you want to be treated, right? I mean, it's just that simple. All right, thank you guys again. Love you, and I am the table.